off the multiple choice AP AB uh, workbook problems. This is a really easy problem. It looks like hell, but it's actually not bad work. It says what's we're gonna try to find the limits of trig uh, functions through direct substitution. Now, what I do have to remind you is that this is an angular value here, right? So if you if you use the unit circle, and hopefully you have that. If you have the unit circle, this will make a lot of sense to you. Remember on the unit circle that the x values are cosine, cosine of x, and the y values are sine of x, right? And so. If you haven't done that, go print that, and we'll see what that looks like. But So let's just take this limit, right? I'm going to use direct substitution. So we're looking for sine of pi halves over pi halves. Well, if we look at the unit circle, pi halves is 90 degrees, and this is the point zero, 01, right? So sine of pi halves is equal to 1, and, and it says here, right, over x, so x is pi halves. Here we have a complex fraction, so we're going to bring this up and multiply by a reciprocal. So the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches pi halves is equal to 2 over pi, direct substitution. Always start with direct substitution. If that works, you get an easy answer, right? Hard work is good work.